would appear that even though I'm on holiday, I'm suffering from a condition known as ABH, always be hobbying. I'm down on Jersey, and just a couple of weeks ago, I ordered some kits from Warlord, their new coastal defence bunkers kits. And I'm delighted to say that here is a coastal defence bunker in real life. And to say Warlord, you've absolutely nailed it regarding the model. I believe these were sort of a standard template that were used by the German forces during their North Atlantic wall defence sort of system. Now, the island of Jersey was occupied during World War II and it was seen as a key uh, defence point against uh, well, British ships and British invasion. Now, Jersey could have been a very useful staging point for armies wanting to travel through into France. So these coastal defence bunkers were placed all along the actual uh, seafront. Um, I've just been inside and I've got to say the Jersey, well it's called the Channel Islands Military Museum, is absolutely incredible. It's very small but um, there's no replicas in there. Everything is taken from the site. So there is real guns, real German uniforms. There's even Nazi crockery in there, which is a bit like that scene out of American Beauty. Um, it's amazing, but credit to Warlord because they really have put together some quite outstanding kits. So as soon as I got back home from the trip, it was uh, straight into the office to open up one of the coastal defense bunker sets that I mentioned from Warlord Games. Um, so new kit only came out uh, very late July, early August and if you look back at the footage I got from the actual bunker over in, uh, in Jersey it's pretty much absolutely bang on. Um, so let's quickly crack it open and see what's inside. It's basically massive plastic sprue. And there we go. On the back of the box, they've included the, um, the instructions. Hopefully there's not too much glare there, but it looks relatively straightforward to put together. Um, it's by Italeri, if I said that right, uh, in association with Warlord Games. And I like these guys. Um, these two often work together for things like tanks and some other scenery. And you've got two absolutely, well, two of the best when it comes to um, World War II. Oh, well, any historical miniatures, to be honest. So, very straightforward sprue. Everything looks nice and clean. I do like Warlord. In fact, I like all of Warlord stuff. Um, I'm a very big fan of Blood Red Skies that they launched recently. But I think they do put a lot of effort into their, into their kits and their scenery generally is fantastic. Scenery that shouldn't just be used for Warlord games, you know, this stuff would work um, in uh, many other systems as well. So relative, looks straightforward to put together, that's the roof of it. So um, let's see if I've got one that's been prepared already. So I've put a piece of paper down just to add some contrast because we've gone with a very sort of grey colour scheme here. But that absolutely looks like the place where I went and wandered about in um, when I was in Jersey. Lid comes off and you've got some detail inside. So you've got the doors there to the external doors place there to sort of, um, well, you could probably put artillery in there, um, or you could have it as a machine gun emplacement. Very simple kit to make, it took about 20 minutes to put together, if that, um, obviously a little bit extra for drawing time. It was um, very straightforward to paint, uh, it was actually done by Tom, who helps me out with some of the painting. Tom's. Uh, work is available to view at Schoolboy Studio and he basically pulled all this together um, in just over half a day I think from um, building it, painting it, time for it to dry and then adding some of the tufts on top so Warlord Games, um, you've, yeah you've really come up with a cracking kit here um, you'd almost say why haven't they done before now um, because it's such uh, an important 
piece of um, of the story of, of um, the North Atlantic Wall, which uh, certainly when the, the Germans, as I say, they were absolutely petrified of the Brits or the Americans starting to create staging posts um, around the sort of the coast of France and that area, so they fortified whatever they could, and a bit like the Adeptus Mechanicus in Warhammer 40,000, they had these standard templates, they obviously built them relatively quickly, uh, and they were an absolute bugger to try and crack open, especially when you had the um, sort of the barricades and the trench system built around it. And if you've watched films like Saving Private Ryan, these are the bunkers that were on top of the hill uh, that were just causing so much devastation for the uh, for the Allied troops as they landed. So, coastal defence bunker, and that's available from Warlord Games. It's actually available from us as well. And just from a completion point of view, at the same time they've also brought out the anti-tank flak bunker. Uh, kit which again is 16.99 retail price uh, very similar to the coastal defense it's just you've got this extra built up um, sort of fortification on top um, with a slightly different roof in the kit so you don't have this sort of um, sort of rough terrain type roof on top it's a flatter roof with a fortification around it and it's where you would put um, one of your flat guns but still works pretty much as a coastal defense bunker um, so a mix of the two across your coastline table would work perfectly well. So, yep, yeah, $16.99, anti-tank, flak bunker, coastal defence bunker, perfect, perfect scenery for your bolt action games.